The Matthew Penella Health and Nutrition obviously was started by myself roughly about two years ago. Um, it's now a full-time business where I have two trainers working with me and we specialise in sort of personal training with a focus around nutrition. We work with a wide range of clients, some of which have physical difficulties. We also work with uh, clients with medical conditions that can also affect them physically. So we're very adaptable as personal trainers in, in what we do and how we help these people achieve great things with exercise. I would say wherever you can, don't let anything hold you back. Uh, there are many ways to work around a medical condition. There are many, many ways to work around a physical condition. Um, you know, if you're working with the right person, you can, you can create something brilliant, regardless of your condition. When I met Kay, I, I realised she was very, very sort of quick on her knees. So we had to adapt the boxing training to um, enable us to move like boxers and train like boxers, but on our knees. So we use knee pads, and uh, that has, you know, really improved her mobility. Recently, Kate and I have started some sort of light sparring together, and um, it very much changes sort of the makeup of how you would traditionally do sparring and how you would do boxing but actually many movements run through the hip and when you're on your knees you can still get quite a lot of range of motion in your hips as well which allows us to move and kind of go back and forth like you would if you were sort of in a ring. Boxing helps bring in some cardio, it helps bring in strength training, it's very good for reflexes and obviously with cerebral palsy there is a delayed reaction from the brain to some of the limbs so actually doing those sort of movements over and over again should be at help hopefully increase mobility in sort of day-to-day -day life and not just in the gym. I think you know us as personal trainers should really you know not let anything limit you know what we can do in terms of who we can work with to a certain degree you know if there are ways to work around the condition and it's done safely then you know get stuck in. If you feel like you can adapt your training then, then go for it providing it's safe and it obviously complies with what you're qualified to do.